We had a 43-year-old missing uh, black male named Ellison Norman Jr. out of uh, Houston, Texas. Him and five of his friends uh, rented a pontoon boat at 10 o'clock this morning uh, here on Lake Conroe, drove out to the center of the lake. They decided they were going to take a little swim. Everybody jumped out of the boat. The wind caught the boat, started pushing the boat away. Uh, he didn't make it back to the boat. By the time that the first person got back, to, he was yelling that he needed help, and they were they grabbed a life vest to take back to him. By the time they get to him, he was already underwater. What time, about time frame, about 20 minutes after they ran the boat? Yeah, 1022, the 911 call came in. Any, any idea of alcohol or anything like that? N- n- there was alcohol on board. None had been opened. They hadn't, like I said, they hadn't even been in the boat 20 minutes. They hadn't even opened any of their food or anything. What about, you said, boat moving around? Pretty hard to locate the exact spot he went down? Yes, uh, the wind was blowing it. There, the, Everybody on the boat, uh, no one knew how to drive the boat except him. Uh, they were they they had not even been on the boat before. They were not familiar with this lake. When she called 911, his girlfriend did. Uh, she was given landmarks that are not familiar w- with dispatch. So it made it real hard to pinpoint exactly where they were at first. How important is it to find out exactly where someone went down at? Oh, it's real important because it's like looking for a needle in a haystack otherwise because you got where they're at is in uh, almost 40 foot of water and then you got suspended depths at various areas there, you know, from zero to 30 to search. Oh, my God.